Jordy here for SydneyCam.net and today we're gonna record some sound effects. Now I've got a short video right here made with a bunch of stock clips. It looks great but it doesn't have sound. So I'm gonna share five secret tips on how you can make this video sound epic. Now Holly Lamb sent me their wireless audio system, the Lark 150. It comes in this box right here which also acts as a charger. So you can just dock your transmitter and receiver in here which is really cool. Now at this moment you could also participate in their short film campaign. It's called Feel My City Sounds and they are giving away up to $50,000 in cash and film gear. Simply make a cinematic video or a cool video shot by phone about your city. No gear is required. Then sound design your video, share it to YouTube, Facebook or Instagram and upload the link of it to their campaign websites. You can click the first link in the description down below for all of the information. Now our Premier Basics channel has also filmed a video about the miners of Gang for the campaign submission. Now, those are the sounds of Limburg, Belgium. You can check it out by a link in the description down below as well and make sure to hit the heart button if you enjoy that video. So the next five tips are gonna be very useful for you to participate. Starting off with tip number one. You might be recording something like a swoosh. Now you can do this by swinging a stick close to the microphone but in Premiere Pro you'll notice that the swoosh sounds pretty bad. There's no depth, no cinematic element to it. Well, here's a very easy thing that you can do and that is layering. Simply duplicate the swoosh sound and use the rate stretch tool to make one of these swooshes longer. This will also decrease the pitch, bringing out more of the bass. As an extra touch, you can also add reverb from the essential sound panel to that clip. So now you have a normal swoosh sound with a bass echoing layer underneath. Here's the before and after. And you can try this technique with any kind of sound effect. It doesn't always have to be with swooshes. By the way, guys, you can see me using this little cube right here to record the sound. This is a wireless transmitter with an internal microphone. So you can use it like this and you can even add a windshield to it if needed. Or you can also attach a laugh mic, either the one provided or a third party. And I definitely like this a lot. Now, the receiver, however, doesn't have an internal recorder. So you need to hook it up to your camera or use your phone as a recorder. Step number two, cheap sound effects are usually noticed because they don't match the environment. We have someone running in a forest. There's a distinct tone to a forest, so don't just record footsteps indoor or in an open field. Go to an actual forest so that you can capture the reverb that is typical to that location. You can always enhance your audio, add some reverb if needed, but try to get your initial recording as close as possible to the final results. Now, one of the greatest features of the Lark 1 is that you can connect two transmitters to one receiver. And you can do that by just simply putting them into the box. Just wait a little bit and they're now connected to this receiver. If you wish to connect them to a different receiver, well then just take them out, put it in here. Now this one is connected to that one. You can take this one out. Now both of them are connected to the black receiver. Or you can also just swap the receivers all the way. And now these are all connected together. That is something that I find truly amazing. The way that they link together. There's no hassle anymore. I love it. Now, Jill over at Springer Basics, our second channel, actually tested the range of these mics. And even in a field with lots of metal walls, they kept going without interference. All right, tip number three. You can use sound design to make transitions or as a bridge to a new scene. Here's an example. We have a bird and we cut to a plane. But to introduce the plane already, we're going to place the sound of a jet engine underneath the bird. You can give it a different reverb or pitch, but already introducing that sound creates a bridge to the next shot. Another cool example, which I didn't include in the video because it felt random, but here we have a runner. Now, put the sound under the footsteps of a hammer hitting an anvil, and then we cut to this shot of an actual anvil. See how this transitions. Pretty cool, right? Now, tip number four. When you're looking to record sound effects, it doesn't always have to come from the real objects. Either because, you know, it's just impossible, like cracking bones. It's strongly advised to record something different, like breaking carrots. But oftentimes, the real object just doesn't create a good sound as well. Now, I wanted to add some flapping wings under the shot at the bird. First of all, I don't have a bird laying around. And if you do, it's really hard to get a good flapping sound. So instead, I use a piece of cloth. You can also use a flak, and I would just simply flap that piece of cloth in front of the microphone. And there we go, a flapping bird sound. 
And this brings us to the last tip, focus sounds. Take this shot of someone running. We could start thinking about the different sounds we need. There are of course the footsteps, the city ambient, the traffic underneath the bridge, breathing, his clothes, and the more sounds we start to mix together, the more depth the scene will get. However, we can also just record one sound, for instance his breathing, and by doing this we are focusing on that one sound and his action. It's a clever way to draw attention to something without having to add extra close-ups. Of course, if you like, however, you can also keep the city ambient, but at a lower volume, and equalize the higher frequencies out, perhaps. And you know, with all of these five tips combined, let's have a look at the final video. Or better, let's have a listen. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Hollyland, for the support. And now it's your turn. Make sure to participate in their Feel My City Sounds contest with your City Sounds video. Make sure to submit before the July 20th. Good luck, and as always, stay creative.